stop the presses. Oh, the big news. Obviously, big news is on the horizon. Big, All right, what's big, going on? Big news. Does anybody read a newspaper anymore? Stop the presses. That's because there are no presses. I don't know. I, I don't think so. Do you, do, you, do you subscribe to a newspaper at all? I do not. As a matter of fact, the closest I have to anything is I get this once a month. Okay? <laughs> and I get, we get, which I never read, by the way. My wife does, you know, cover to cover. We get one from the association that we belong to. We get a monthly thing. And there, from time to time, there's an interesting article in there about, you know, who was uh, using the wrong kind of sod for their the little patch of grass that's exactly next to the house as opposed to the lawn. Yeah. But other than that, I haven't, I used to enjoy, particularly on a Sunday morning, getting out a Sunday paper, like in my case, yeah. uh, the New York Times, you had the magazine, you did the puzzle, yeah. you had uh, sports, which sometimes I read, sometimes I didn't. They had a and, national but, insert, and they and had it, it comics. Had, and it had, and you, it was tactile, you could hold on to it, yeah. you could, uh, smudge your hands. It had this aroma, this print, <laughs> printer's ink on it. Uh, but I haven't literally read a, a, a regular newspaper probably 10 or 15 years. Yeah. Uh, well, I read a newspaper you, once in a while, but I don't buy them. And, mm -hmm. and I don't think most people buy them. Um, uh, certainly uh, people our age are less and less subscribing to newspapers. I don't think that younger generation... I don't know what percentage reads newspapers. Very few, I would think. No, I've, I've but, read most of them. Actually, I've read some articles where most of them get their news from things like Instagram and TikTok. Yeah, and, anything on your phone. Right. Yeah. And and that's where more and more I'm getting my news is on my phone, mm. you know, um, and weather. And, um, you know, it's almost instantaneous. You can get updates. Whereas a newspaper has got to, you know, they report the story today, they go back and they edit it and it's something. And if they're really, really in a big city and have a lot of money, they can get it out in tomorrow's paper. Yeah. Also, my, my wife and I tend to watch Jeopardy uh, every night. So what will happen is if we get to 10 or 15 minutes early, we're watching the end of the uh, ABC World Nightly News. Uh, right. And we get that. Uh, however, they skewer the information. Uh, but if you go to Fox and CNN and some of those, you're going to get skewered information from there. My guess is that on the phones, you're going to get uh, slanted information. But we're talking about newspapers. And for instance, when I stopped getting a real newspaper delivered or in my hands, uh, I could never get to comfortably read it online. I'm sure that there are younger people who can or people in business, if we were still active yeah. in business yeah. and we needed stuff in the Wall Street Journal or the Barons or something like that, might get that online because it was necessary for us to see. But you and I do uh, financial research and we go to Fidelity or, or Schwab, or whoever we have our service with, and we tend to get the information and research we get from there. So really, uh, and does anybody read a newspaper anymore? You, you, I think you posed the right question. You know, uh, we grew up in New York City where there were multiple newspapers, morning newspapers, evening newspapers, Newsday, a Long Island newspaper. There was newspapers mm -hmm. from Jersey. Um, and there was a lot of competition. And the, the wonderful thing about a newspaper is you knew the editorial slant might be this way for this paper, or that way for that paper. But you could read both of them, and they were they were comprehensive. They both included lots of information, yeah. it, whether you liked it or not. It was, you know, there were sections. And as newsprint became more expensive, and as printing became more expensive, and as people started moving online, of course, newspapers shrank. Right. And so the difference between a newspaper providing you lots of choices of information and let's say ABC or CBS News providing you a half hour, right, with theoretically all the international information you needed is right. it, ridiculous. Also, I would but, say that one of the reasons we used to get the newspaper when uh, we were in our 20s and 30s was that every weekend we would go in there to look for all the listings of the local movies. That's where, that's where you got them. 
Okay, but they, <laughs> those have a first been supplanted by online, so you yeah. go on online and, and be able to quickly say, okay, so what theater is uh, 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 Gone with the Wind playing in? If that right, that, that right. certainly wasn't coming in all day. At, at what you, time? At what time? Yeah. And you get thirty of them, and how far is it from the house, and when do you have to park, and so on and so forth. But you don't yeah. need to do that anymore. You get that all online, and so that that went away. And so many of the things that you went to the newspaper for just don't exist as a need. And also, talking about the movies, most of the movies, you don't go to the movies anyway. You go, you want to yeah. know, so on Netflix same, or Hulu same or problem. Prime. <laughs> same same uh, cultural shift, if right. you will. It's away from uh, the physical to uh, the online version of it. Yeah. And, it, you know, the shame of it is that we're losing information. The the population, whether you're an older person like we are or a younger person, we're not getting the information we once got. Mm -hmm. uh, when you and I were riding the subway to Manhattan uh, to to go to work, we could pick up the morning paper and read one version of the news. And in the afternoon, we could pick up another paper on the way home and read another version of the news. Now we get no versions of the news. Everything is shorter Everything is more condensed. Everything is, quite frankly, more likely to be slanted right. from to somebody's editorial Dep point of view. Depending on the echo chamber that you're in, or if you're recognized yep. as somebody who read this article, kind of, if you got a liberal bent or a conservative bent, and Facebook's going to feed you the yep. stuff that is in your echo chamber. Yep, and and the shame of it is the the most. A uh, pervasive form of um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, preventing people from getting information, of uh, editorializing, if you will, is to just omit something. Just mm. don't talk about it. That's it, it, as if it doesn't exist. Right. So we never know. We never know the other side. We never know the truth. You can't figure it out. And it's a, it's a real shame because newspapers, I think. Uh, personally, think that they're a real important part of an informed electorate and a and a an informed citizenry. Um, so I I mourn the loss of good newspapers, but on the other hand, I, I don't want to pay for it anymore. I can get it online. I'm already paying for my ISP and my phone, and I, I'm and I'm getting quote quote I'm getting the news free. Right. Um, but I'm not getting much of it, and I recognize that. Okay, so so I think we can wrap this up by saying we're all going to hell. <laughs> and yes, and I've got a hand basket right here. Good. Oh, good. Enough room for two. Yeah. See you in the see you after the news show. For more on celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.